So Leonardo AI just released a new feature a few weeks ago. It is an image guidance feature and it is character reference. So this is a face swapping alternative. If you've watched my other videos, you know I've tried many different programs to solve this problem. I've also tried to fine tune my own model and I did have really good luck with pencil, which I'm gonna show you in a minute and that it is still my favorite. But I still wanna show you what Leonardo AI is offering because it is actually really, really good. It's still not my favorite, but it is really good. And so here's how it works. I'm in the legacy mode, um, but you can reach the image guidance features actually in the new uh, interface by just clicking right here and then going to character reference from here. So you can get to this feature in either way. I'm just doing the legacy because that is what my mind uh, works with the fastest as of right now. Okay, so you, you upload your image. So I've chosen a picture of me and then you've got to, you know, of course, turn it on that you're going to use that character reference. Okay, and then you put in your prompt, which let me just show you some of what I've got. This is some of the stuff I've done and um, these don't look like me and these don't look like me. These are starting to resemble some features of me. Uh, these kind of resemble me, unfortunately. And then this is a mermaid one. It's got some features. This one is starting to look like me a little bit. Um, this one I realized, hey, I might not look so bad as a guy. I think that guy looks pretty good. Uh, then we get this guy and I'm like, wait, why, are, why am I getting men? Um, evidently I've got a manly face. I don't know. I don't know why it's picking a man sometimes, but anyway, getting some decent results. Okay. I am pretty impressed. All I did was upload a photo and chose, you know, to turn on the image guidance and I can reuse that over and over and over. So that's super, super, super handy. Let me just do another one though here. Let's do, um, businesswoman in an office. Now, one thing I've noticed is that whatever size that your face is in the image guidance is going to be the same size in your photograph. So like for that one, it's a close up. And so every image I've generated is a close up. That's one thing I've noticed that I feel is kind of limiting because with pencil, you can upload a close up, but you can actually get full body portraits. And I really like that. Um, so that's why pencil's still my favorite, but so here we go. So these look similar to me. There's some similarities. I would not say they are that great of a resemblance to me. Let me show you pencil again, because I'm still in love with it. I used the same photograph and I typed female superhero and I got this. This is a very, very close resemblance to me. Um, let's do businesswoman sitting at a desk. So this is that pencil feature where you just upload the photo and then you type in your prompt and it, you know, merges your face with the prompt, which is this uh, the same technology that Leonardo AI is using. Um, I would bet it's probably the identical technology. And, and that's why I'm kind of confused why Leonardo doesn't work quite as well as pencil. So pencil's obviously done something else to improve the results. I'm gonna show you the face swap on pencil again here too in just a moment. Yeah, that looks a lot like me. So this is a very good match. Now, don't forget that pencil does the actual face swap where you add an image. So I'll show you what I've been doing I've been turning myself into an avatar by generating characters in Leonardo and then using pencil to turn them in to me. And I'm going to tell you more about this in future videos. I'm going to do a whole um, series, actually. This is a whole homeschool science series I'm working on where I have an avatar of myself. I'm going to talk to you about that in a later video. I'm going to show you how to do a fine-tuned model you know, in Leonardo AI, I've got all kinds of stuff planned. 
Um, so watch out. Keep, keep an eye out for that. And also, if you want to learn about prompt engineering and you want to learn how to use Leonardo AI into more detail and you want to understand how these diffusion models work in the first place, I do have uh, books that I sell and that's linked below and you can go check those out and those will help you a lot. You can really dig in deep to, to this AI stuff that's going on. Um, okay, so here, see, that's a very good match to me. So that is what Pencil does. So back to Leonardo, yes, now they are definitely moving closer to what we all want, which is this character reference. Um, for the face swap, it's not quite there, but the possibilities and the uses of this character reference for an image guidance, the, the possibilities are like phew, amazing. So drop your comments and have a great day. Oh, and uh, like and subscribe, of course.